Hi, here is Klaas Ninos, and this is a video for MapRoom. In this video, I'm going to show you the new CyberCity 3D feature, and I'm going to build a quick city, and in this case, it is London. I'm going to set my map space to London, and uh, I'm going to use the free sample data from CyberCity 3D from London. I already have it, but you can order it for free through MapRoom. Just go to the settings, sample data chapter, enter your email address and request the CyberCity 3D data. A link will be emailed to you. So I already have it. I select it from my drop down. And I'm going to extend my area to cover all the buildings in the sample data set. There are about 250 buildings. And they're going to be placed, and here they are. <coughs> Let's take a look. So the models are a lot more detailed than just extruded shapes, but they don't have so much detail that they will crash your scene when you add an entire city or you know, multiple uh, kilometer square of, of, of data. So it's very practical for city visualization, for civil engineering projects, architectural projects. So actually we're done. No, the city is there, but I'm going to enhance it and make an even bigger one uh, with OpenStreetMap data. I'm going to put the OpenStreetMap data around it and the CyberCity 3D data in between. And I'm going to add the outline. Every data set you get from, from CyberCity 3D includes an outline of the area. And this is very practical to create um, a volume for a volume select, for instance. You can also trace the outline yourself, but you know I'm lazy, so uh, I do it like this. So I'm going to add an OpenStreetMap layer and you know, make it a little bit bigger than this area, so I guess 6x6 six six should be okay. I'm going to pick all the building types from the, from the layers, these, and I'm going to add the buildings. Here they are, building outlines, and of course I need to have volumes, otherwise it kind of looks weird. So I'm going to add a style sheet. And OpenStreetMap com or MapRoom comes with a bunch of style sheets. I'm just going to use the default one and apply it. And it will create volumes uh, from these shapes based on some rules uh, you can set yourself. So here we are. And now the OpenStreetMap data and the CyberCity 3D data, they overlap, so we need to get rid of the OSM data. And we're going to use a volume select and delete mesh modifiers for this. So first I'm going to create the volume, and uh, I'm using the outline we just added from the CyberCity 3D data. So select the outline and add a shell modifier, and create a nice thick volume and then select all the OSM buildings and add the delete mesh or the volume select and delete mesh modifiers. Uh, this is sped up a little bit. Um, it's quite a bit of object, so uh, adding modifiers takes a little bit of time. And here we are. So in the center there's a gap uh, filled by the CyberCity 3D models and around it are the OpenStreetMap models. Well, uh, all that's left to do is to create a render. And uh, here it is. Well, uh, this is a city model of London uh, within 15 minutes. And in this video, of course, I cut out all my mistakes and reruns. Uh, in 3ds Max with MapRoom and the new CyberCity 3D layer. Okay, have fun mapping. Bye bye.